Now, I want to bring in now some footage that I've got from someone who worked in an apartment very nearby. Let's bring in that footage now, and you can just see how tall the flames are. Just amazing. We've taken out the audio of the person who filmed this, but that person was um, uttering expletives, as you can imagine. Look at those flames. You can see how high that is. This is someone in a nearby office block noticing the flames filming it before evacuating. You've always got to film film the, the, fu the fire, Ross. Get some footage of it before you yes. evacuate to safety. Look at that. So, that those so shots there, you can see just how high they are. In that, yeah, in that so just shot. to explain, mm. that that's similar to what we saw when we first saw the fire uh, from where we are. So this is when we knew it was a, a major event, a major fire. Um, and the reason why, of course, we're covering it this afternoon, simply because it is so heavily populated, because there are so many residential buildings adjoining this, because there is key infrastructure, as I said earlier on, um, Coles, uh, rather, Woolworths Management has got a, a major uh, facility right next door across the road from this particular fire so that would have been evacuated uh, as most other buildings in the adjoining area would have been and as you say it's not 50 people it's many hundreds or even thousands of people that have been evacuated from these buildings at very short notice to try and get them to safety not only from the flames but most certainly also from the smoke as well. Yeah. Now I've just got some information coming through now from the fire brigade union they say three of the fire trucks that are down there right now that are fighting this blaze right now are the ancient appliances, the ancient fire trucks that have been brought in to replace broken down trucks. So three very old fire trucks having to fight this fire. There are others as well, of course, but three of the fire trucks that are down there are very old ones that have had to be brought in to replace other broken down trucks. So mm. that just, you know, sh shows the need for um, new fire equipment, 150 fire trucks in New South Wales are beyond their usage.